what is up everyone welcome to Weffer Tech today is a quick video on the Oxygen OS 4.1.3 it's a quick update that OnePlus released recently and we're gonna show you the update over the air and also I'll be posting the links for a full version if you have TWRP so let's get right into it so if you want to receive OnePlus updates quicker right when they release go to Google Play Store uh, get the Opera app so the Opera VPN app, Opera VPN, so let's look, go ahead and look for that. I'll show you which one to grab. Uh, you're going to look for this app in the Play Store, install it, and after you install it, open it, and you're going to go ahead and be connected to Wi-Fi, and we're going to run a VPN to grab the update quicker than expected. So OnePlus releases the updates first to different countries and comes over to the US, so I'm in US and I'm getting the update. I usually get the updates like last, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get it first and right away over the air. So we're going to connect to the VPN, and the VPN will connect. And we're going to go ahead and check the country it's connected to, right when it's done connected. So as you can see, it's connected. And the region you want to be selected to is Canada. Once you are to Canada, the update will come right away in your system's update, and you will get the update first right when it releases. So as you can see, I'm staying on Canada. It was on Canada already, but I'm showing you to be on Canada. So the VPN helps to pull the update from the server quicker and faster right as it releases. So let's go ahead and see if it switches to Canada. There you go, so it's Canada. Now we're gonna go to the browser. Uh, see, as I'm still on the 7.1 Android update, which is on the Oxygen OS 4.1.1. So we're gonna go ahead and do the update and it's gonna go to 4.1.3. So we're gonna go back. Click systems update, it's checking for updates, and as you can see the update got pulled, and there you have it. It's 4.1.3, and we're gonna go ahead and download it. And it's only 30 meg, so it's not a big update. There are uh, system st uh, stability they fixed and some Bluetooth bugs, so right when it finishes downloading, it will reboot and do the update, so let the download finish. So as you can see, the update got downloaded and finished saving it on the phone. Let's go ahead and reboot to upgrade now. So it's going to go ahead and update to Oxygen OS 4.1.3. I touched it and it's preparing system update. So it's going to go ahead and do the update. Um, as you can see, we did it through VPN. So this is the fastest way to get OnePlus updates. VPN helps and pulls it from the server right away. If you don't want to do the VPN method and just wait for the update to come to your country, just wait and keep checking the systems and check for updates. That's the second method you could do or else you could just go ahead and install VPN and it will do the update directly. So the phone rebooted itself and it's going to go ahead and do the process of the update. Do not touch anything and let the process go. And it is updating please wait do not turn off your phone so yeah before updating I did back up some pictures and important files I needed so let me make sure you also do that and back up your f important pictures files or anything that you need because sometimes the update might get corrupted and you might lose something so I don't want that to happen with you
So the update is restarting now and it finished installing. So just let, let it do the process and sit tight until it goes up to the launcher and loads up your stuff. Since it's an update, it should have all my stuff back and everything saved. So I shouldn't have, it's not like something I'm doing through TWRP. And Oxygen OS logo. My password came up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it. And starting Android, so everything stays the same. Nothing happened to my passwords or memory or files. They're all there. And there you have it, the update finished and rebooted my phone to Oxygen OS 4.1.3 and as you can see finishing update and we'll just go ahead and make sure it got updated. Go to settings, we're going to go scroll to about. System has been successfully updated so it's done. We'll go to about, Android 7.1.0 nougat and it is... Where's it going? Right here. Oxygen OS 4.1.3. So we went from 4.1.1 to 4.1.3. And it was, they did not do minor, they only did minor changes such as Bluetooth having issues and saving the log files and taking storage. So you now have the option to go ahead and delete your Bluetooth stuff and uh, free up your space on the storage. Other than that, they have general some backend fixes. So it's good to have the latest update. And this was the way we did is officially through the air. So VPNing it and getting the over the air update through the systems update. And it did the check updates and we got it. Um, if you do not like the VPN method or uh, the over the air and you want to do it through TWRP, all you do is boot into TWRP and um, do the installation of the file. So I'll post the links in the description for the full version of the update. If you don't want to do the over the air and you want the full file of the update, I could go ahead and post the links for 4.1.3 and you'll just go to TWRP and installing the updates. And if you do not know how to get TWRP, check out the video we have with unlocking the bootloader and TWRP. Other than that, it was a quick update on OnePlus 3T and thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.